Grusselmedia.com. Let's not forget why we're here. And don't forget the Disturbing the Peace album (laughs) is in stores today. Please believe me. Ludacris presents. Yes. So what? Uh, all right, we'll get to this today too. We'll get to the album. We'll get to the um, the movie stuff. We'll take some calls today. One eight hundred two two three nine seven nine seven. Man, Anne Marie Collins won a thousand dollars today. Congratulations, baby! One thousand dollars. What's that like? Six hundred after taxes taken? Oh. Nah, nah, nah. Oh. We we doing this real under the um table. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you envelopes, do it. <laughs> envelopes, cash, singles, rubber band. Yeah. That's how we're I'm doing it. I'm That's how you. we're doing it. So congratulations, <laughs> Anne Marie. Ludacris is here. The countdown is on the way. Hotlines are open. You want to talk to him? Call us up. One eight hundred two two three nine seven nine seven. It's hot ninety seven. Top 97, official number one. Ludacris is here today. Yes, ma'am. He's doing the rounds, getting the getting the album out there and everything. The uh, Disturbing the Peace album is in stores today. It's only right. Trying to prove to people that I'm definitely not the only star on this label, man. You have a whole lot of versatility, a whole lot of great individuals, you know, like Shauna, of course, Bobby Valentino, breaking into the R&B realm of things. Just making Disturbing the Peace what it is and what it's going to be, man. Okay, it's tell me, everybody. Field Mob. Newest additions, you know what I'm saying? They are lyricists of the South, very underrated. So now we about to expand their horizons, you know what I'm saying? The fan base and all of that. That's what I feel because I, my heart and soul is behind them. I'm a fan. I'm a true fan. So then you still got our 20 little fate. We got Sharifa, who was up there at the Vibe Awards with his R&B female with okay. a voice like no other. Play a circle, North Click, and we got a rock band by the name of Lazy Eye. So nice. we're just trying to expand. Like I said, we don't die, we multiply. And this makes it easier for you to go do movies when you have a team to put the <laughs> album out, right? It makes it easier <laughs> for in maybe, what, seven, eight years when I just want to sit back and chill. And and chill. That, you know what we'll I'm do saying? a movie once every two or three years. <laughs> so we got to set it up right now. The Disturbing the Peace Project is in stores. Like, first 100,000 out there. We got a DVD with videos and everything equipped with it so that you can see everybody and, you know, put the names with the faces and everything so everybody get to that store and go purchase it man good material trust we put our all into it you really you, you, your grind is pretty serious huh man every year we got to do it every it's a lot of competition out there i got to stay in their faces and let I mean, them you continue must have, to hear me you must have a really good work ethic i mean i, got, I like I, I like checks <laughs> you you know do? but i mean like do you get what's like do you get up early in the morning i get up well you know it depends because my my uh, schedule is so random Mm. You know what I'm saying? From getting on flights to being in different time zones to being time. in the studio to having to get up early for morning shows. Sometimes every day is different. But I mean, so, do you get up and then start working? Yeah, man. You know what? I put it this way. If I if I have a day or two with absolutely nothing to do, I'll go crazy. Really? Yes. I feel like something is wrong. I can wrong. see. That has to be because, you you know, you, you, you've done too well just, you know, with everything to not, for real, like, you Thank know. Thank you, man. I got to do something. To not have a good work ethic. And I read a couple things about you recently. Number one in the vibe. Did you see that? Um, I don't have to see it. I know exactly what oh, they Oh, why they say that to most deaf? They said, move over, most deaf. Oh, I didn't see they that. They made like he was the new most deaf. I didn't see of that. Of the hip hop actors, hard. of the hip hop <laughs> actors, they said well, most deaf. And then I read in That's the, <laughs> and then they mentioned you in the J article in Rolling Stone. He talked about you and how you call him up sometimes yeah. just to pick his brain, get I some advice. I do know about that, man. I'm 100 percent behind that, man. Just to have two black executives at this company right now. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm pulling for them. Whatever I can do, you know, I'm gonna do my part as an artist right now. Because of course, pretty soon, you know, I think like. Jay always says he's paving the way for a lot of other people to do the same things that he's doing. And, I, you know, I believe that. Mm. And I, I could definitely see myself sitting in that seat one day. I kind of do it my, on my own. With Def, It was Def Jam South. Now it's officially disturbing the peace because we account for everything that was Def Jam wow. South. So, you know, in Atlanta, Georgia, in my own office, I'm kind of doing the same thing when I'm not out doing the artist thing. Oh, so you're gunning for Jay's job. I mean, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, <laughs> you can say that, but I'm, no, you know, I'm nowhere near that point right now because I got so much of the artist still in me. No, give me give me like about six or seven years. That's what I said. I'll be ready for that. You're going for that. Definitely, <laughs> I can, man. I can, very, I can very much see that. So, you know, I, I hit him up and see what's going on, make sure everything cool. Like I said, is there anything I could do on my part? Right. Two black executives. I love it. I'm loving it. We're making history right now. That's, Believe that's, that. That's a beautiful thing. All right, so um, so the Disturbing the Peace album is in stores. Ludacris is here. We're going to take some calls. I, like I said, I want to talk to him definitely about this Oprah show. We'll talk about that in a second. We'll um, play a joint, a new joint. Oprah. We'll, yeah. <laughs> we're going to play a new joint off the album in a minute. First, we're going to go back first. What do you want to do? We're thinking throwback. 
throw it back. Throw, go all the way on, back, fantasy. It you want to throw, throw the bowls. You want to. Um, it's a long catalog. Move, it, it depends on whatever Angie Mars uh, favorite. You want to splash song. waterfalls. <laughs> You leave it up to me. That I was play, so, that I was so dirty to call your song Splash. <laughs> yeah, it was, but still. <laughs> you want to play Ho? If you left it up to me, but I'm going to let you do your favorite Angie Mar pick. Are you still running with the hoes out there? Am <laughs> I still Chris? running with the hoes? Yeah. No, not, as, not as much. Are as you I settled am. down? No, nah, I ain't settled down, but, you know, I'm still, I'm, I'm, I'm a grown man. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm just grown. That's what you could say. So this is so whole would be a, the old ludicrous. I used to make time for him. I don't make as much time. <laughs> I don't make as much time. <laughs> it's more business, you know what I'm saying? Would you like to so you can say that? Would you like to maybe dedicate this song to? to I'm, them I'm telling you, you need to do your favorite pick. It's a long catalog in this computer. I'm actually looking. I'm a fan right now. I'm, I'm looking at the catalog and just seeing what we've done over the past. I wouldn't five mind years. Saturday. I wouldn't mind Saturday. Let's do Saturday. That's what I'm talking about. Right? That would be kind of. I cute. wanted to hear your favorite pick. That's what I'm talking about. Let's do that. Ah! Yeah. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I like this. That's my thing. That's right. Well, I like this. It. Ludacris is here. It's at 97. Official number one. Hotlines are open. One for hip hop and R and B. Ludacris is here. Disturbing the peace album in stores today. Yes, it is. Why are you laughing at me? Are you laughing at me? Cause no, nah, I'm, I'm, I kind of miss y'all. I, I like being up here right now. I'm having a great ass time. You That's should come. Well, laughing. you should come by more often. I know you got things to do, but yeah. you know what no, I mean. No, no, I'm chilling. We I'm can't good. be on the every five year interview plan. <laughs> <laughs> That's not cool. That's nah, like. See, I used to come up here so so much that. A good, what, six months passed, and we wondering why I ain't been here in so long. I was starting to think we had a fight or something. Exactly. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. It wasn't even like that. It wasn't even like that. But now, man, it's been a long time. It has. Um, so, all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to handle some B.I. We're going to come back with a brand new joint off this Disturbing the Peace album. Yes, yes. Georgia featuring Field Mob and Jamie Foxx. Yes? Yes, yes. And um, Shout out to Jamie Foxx, too, man. He got a project coming soon. What's, have you heard his project? Because I'm curious. You know, I've heard a lot of it, and it's jamming. I'm here to let you know. Really? And a lot of people don't even realize he put out an album before. A lot of people slept on it. The Jamie Foxx album. It was, was a long singing. time ago, right? A long time ago. But he wasn't really hot out there like he is now. But I'm saying it like as far as him, you know, I mean, I know he wears a lot of hats, but as far as him having musical talent, I definitely feel like he does have that. Oh, gosh. You know, I don't think anybody jamming. could front on his, you on can't. his talent. You it, only, it, the only it, problem is you look at him. And you know what I'm saying? You, sometimes you try, you can't really take him serious just because of how funny of mm -hmm. a cat he is sometimes. But he's offsetting that with all these roles and certain things. So it's it's a good thing, man. Nice. He's, a, he's a good dude. One of those Negroes that remind me that life, you got to live life to the fullest every time you see him. Like him and Snoop. Every time I see them, they just having a great ass time. I've never seen them in a bad mood. For man. real? <laughs> they always having a great time. I don't think I've ever met. I don't think I ever met Jamie Foxx. That's terrible. He's never came up. Here. You gotta have him up here. Yeah, we have to. And man. I guarantee you, he's gonna be in a great ass. He's gonna be in a good mood. <laughs> Hell yeah! That strikes me strange when somebody's time. in a good mood all the time. All the time. That's a little strange, don't you think? Nah, I've met a lot of people. Them the only two I can say every time I see them, they in a great mood. Great mood. Me too. I'm like that, right, Mons? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love him. All right, so listen, when we come back, we're going to play a joint off this ludicrous Disturbing the Peace, presents Disturbing the Peace album, the Georgia yes. joint, plus uh, we'll take some calls, 1-800-223-9797. We'll be right back. It's not 97. No more. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Shen. It's not 97. Fish number one today was sponsored by Verizon Wireless. We never stop working for you. We're going to give you the most requested songs in the city. Then I'm going to give you some tickets to um, this um, Christmas concert, the G-Unit Christmas concert, December 26th, Nashville Coliseum. Also got the 50 Cent Bulletproof video game, and um, that's got music on it and stuff. And Ludacris is still here. I am. Luda, it's in the building. Uh, Ludacris presents Disturbing the Peace in stores today. And the Funk Flex joint is in stores today That's as right. well. That's right. Shout to Fliggity. DVD. The car I show. Saw him last night. The car Shout show Flex. king. Oh, yeah, you was up here last <laughs> night, oh, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Um, who else? Somebody else dropped today. Daddy Yankee. Daddy Yankee? Yeah, shout out to Daddy Yankee. Who else? I know you know, Luda. I know you know who the. Who, who, who's on the, on I'm, not the trying to, I'm not trying to shout out yeah. anybody else. <laughs> I'm not to trying to promote with you. anybody else. I let that Daddy Yankee thing slip because, you know what I'm saying, I want the reggae tone to blow, to blow up. But, you know, besides oh, that, right. I ain't, ain't going to tell you who, I, who else coming out today. Forget everybody else. Young Bloods is also in stores today. Oh, okay. Come that's, on, let's yeah, be that's, nice. That's let's A -Town, play so nice. Shout out to the Young Bloods. Okay. Uh, but that's it. That, don't, you don't even, hey, wait till I leave to say everybody else, man. Okay. It's about Ludacris disturbing the peace today, man. Great project in stores. Go get it. <laughs> <laughs>
Come on, man. Hey, Anthony man. Hamilton's not going to hurt, you know, oh, the Louis Chris Anthony Ham- I'm a fan of Anthony Hamilton, too, man. It's a different genre, though. <laughs> different it don't genre. matter. We all in competition. People, if people only got like $12 in their pocket, they'd be like, hmm. All right, I then like Anthony, I was joking. Anthony Hamilton's not in stores uh, today. No, don't, don't say <laughs> no, that. No, no, I'm joking. He is in nah, stores. For, I'm the real, man. It's all love, man. Fate, <laughs> fate will have it. Everybody need to be successful. It's, it's enough room for everybody. Oh well, yes, that's, that'll bring you better karma to say that. Luna. Definitely, See? definitely. All right, so so I I'm watching Oprah Winfrey because I tee because I'm the biggest Oprah fan on the planet. Let it be known, right? Word. So I, I am. I really Word. am, Luda. I am. So I'm gonna take the heart what you about to say. So I tivo Oprah. Yeah. Because sometimes I, you know, I'm busy. I don't, I don't have time. But she's on when I'm on, and then the two mm-hmm. the a.m. in the morning, I don't get to catch it all the time. So I tivo her all the time. Yep. So one night I'm catching up on my Oprahs. <laughs> And I see Crash. She's doing a show on Crash. Mm-hmm. And um and to my delight, <laughs> she includes Ludacris <laughs> in the show. Cause sometimes she'll just pick like, you know, the one or two and it's a Sandra reason. Bullock it's a and reason behind it. Yeah. <laughs> so this time around I'm seeing that she has Ludacris on the show. Yeah. So as I'm watching the show, I am like the the first couple I'm like, is she is she is she being a little like funny with him with him? <laughs> And then she said that she had she had definitely out of nowhere she's oh I love the movie and you were so great and Terrence you were great and and Sandra Bullock you were great and ludicrous, you know I have a problem with your lyrics yeah, but you know <laughs> you were really good in the movie too so. <laughs> She came at Luda on the show and it really had me to start thinking because I, I I've noticed that she doesn't anything where it's hip hop related she doesn't seem. Um, and you know she doesn't have to. She's Oprah. She's incredible. She does great things in the world, and she doesn't have to. Definitely. But as somebody who is of the hip hop community exactly. and who has so much respect and admiration for her, I wish that she would um, embrace or at least educate herself a little bit um, on the hip hop community. Yes, true enough. And I was up there. Trying not to, to say do that all of that. Not to say that I don't understand why a woman of her stature and and her where she's from would not be offended by she, some of your lyrics. Exactly. I do understand that. I understand it too. Some people have an image to hold. And I understand, you know, some of her comments, but just let's like But she treated you like you were five years old. But see, let me tell you <laughs> That's something. That's how though. I felt. Yeah, yeah. No, I felt the same way, but the bad thing about it was let you know, to set the record straight, I had so many comments about every single thing she said to me. They only left in like one of them. They edited every single one of my comments out really wow. out of the show so it's like you know i'm gonna be able to tell my side of the story you know be it here be it on you know you know my my side of the fence whatever i gotta do people will hear my side because they did not so tell me exactly me tell, my tell side. me what happened so you get to the oprah winfrey show do no, you no, make... no 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 let, let's go before that okay take tell it me. before that take it before that you think first you... of all let me tell you straight up I wasn't. E- I wasn't even supposed to be on the show. I bet I, I wasn't I, even invited a, to the show. As a viewer, I could tell that she didn't want you there. Exactly. So then, you know, I'm talking about. We knew that the cast of Crash was going up to the Oprah show a good two months before it was even supposed to happen. Mm-hmm. So um, basically, I'm. She I'm hates you. It, Does she hate you? <laughs> I don't oh, hate it. Such a strong. Oh, sorry. Hate such a strong word. No. But look. All right. Tell me why. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Calling my agency. I'm like. I'm wondering. I'm like. What's going on? You know. Why I'm not. Why am I not a part of this show? I've never been on Oprah. You know what I'm saying? I would love to be There's on no, Oprah. Nobody from hip hop is ever. No, people from hip hop. I'm about to get to that too. Kanye, one. Kanye, Puff, Puffy. LL. That's it. Those three. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I, I receive, you know, my people are telling me that she's not too fond of rappers. That's what that's what they tell me. Mm-hmm. She's not too fond of rappers. And I'm just thinking in my mind, I'm thinking those are the only people that's ever been on there for, for different reasons. You know what I'm saying? That's great that they've been able Puppy to Puppy was on there. to promote his clothing. Yeah. Kanye was on to um, talk about his accident. Yeah. It was in uh, that kind of... He performed, Kanye, yes. he did his mom song, but he was there to talk about how his life changed due to a, a bit, you know... Right. It was other people on the show. It, there was nothing that's just... Exactly, but this is the point of what I'm yeah, trying to tell you. Okay. I wasn't on there as a rapper. I was coming on as, as an actor. actor. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm getting to this point here. I'm sorry. It wasn't about being ludicrous. It was about being Chris Bridges on the Oprah show. Okay, what so happened? See, that's like a crash moment all within itself. Because I feel like she's stereotyping me. She, she's not letting me on there because I'm a rapper. How you going to want to do a, a story on crash and you have, you have a, a crash moment of your own? Right. Not letting Luda on your show. So I'm not even going to get into the details of how Let me I play devil's it. advocate for one second, though, <laughs> because it's not, she didn't ahead, categorize take up, take you. No, no, because I want you to tell me, I want you to explain to me the difference. 
it's not that she categorized you as a rapper. Maybe she felt the way about your specific lyrics. <laughs> That's not really a crash moment. I mean, people can do that. You know, it's it's all good. You can try to point me out as being this this person. I'm just ask. People okay. do that. I've had a lot of people so do how, that. Okay, tell me how you got on. Man, how did I get on? A lot of ranting and raving and trying. Basically, the same thing I'm telling you. I'm, I'm like, this is not this is not acceptable. You know, who are you standards. ranting and raving to? Not to Oprah. Man, the people around her, the people in the show. I'm like, how are y'all gonna do this? You know what I'm saying? I have all of my people. Not your people like are calling, agents. or are you calling? You're not calling yourself, right? I mean, I'm calling the right individuals. Of course, I didn't have a number right to the to the person that worked to there. Oprah's but house. I, I got my agent and all these people calling around and trying to. You know, be like you can't do this, so to speak. They call me the night before the show and say, "Okay." She said, this. "Okay." She said, "Okay, you can do it." But let me tell you what else happened. After the show was over, this is how I realized how I got on the show. She heard this. She heard that someone told me that she didn't want me on the show because she wasn't fond of rappers. So she takes me behind, like we. She shuts the door, and me and <gasps> oh my right, god, right, to, Oprah, to be taken inside by Oprah would scare the hell out of me. Me Go and ahead. Oprah are in this room by ourselves, and this is right after the show ends. So it's like everybody's like outside the door, lined up waiting to talk to her. So she she pulls me into this room. And it was like I heard that you know somebody told you I didn't want you on the show. Well, that's not the case. They only told me that I could only have so many people. I'm like, stop right there. Nobody stop tells right there. Nobody tells you, you Oprah, Oprah anything. You nobody Oprah. tells her anything. Tell me nobody, come on, man. You ain't gonna tell me they <laughs> said that you could only have this. Come on now. You didn't say that. So to I mean, her. hey, I mean, I'm just giving you my side of the story. People that's listening, you can form your own opinion. I don't care. I'm telling you how I felt at okay. this point in time. All right, so, so what then happened? she went into this whole spiel <laughs> about, you know what I'm saying? She apologized that I heard that 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 wasn't the case. It was this, you know, this was the reason. Did she scold you for your lyrics, though, at that point? She didn't scold me for my lyrics. And let me just tell you uh, some of the comments that she took out, because I was in the hot seat. I was basically representing on behalf of the whole hip-hop community. Mm -hmm. I was the only person there when she said that in the comment that she edited out. You know, I was kind of going back at her in a sense of, you know, I don't, I don't expect everybody to understand the art or the form of hip hop and what we do creatively. You know what I'm saying? We tell the truth. This is what we do. Everybody that didn't necessarily live it, and I'm not talking about Oprah, then you, you cannot criticize. You know what I'm saying? What we do is talk about what happens in the neighborhood or where we grew up or some of the things that are going on. People may not agree with it, but it's the truth. These things happen, so didn't and they edit you. you out. No, 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 no. And they no. edit all that out. They edit all of this stuff out. The most important. They only thing leave the part when they when she says to you when she semi suns you and says yes, and edited it like and it even edited it to have a look on my face. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, I can't believe she said that. But the most important thing I said was this: everybody up there that was on that on that panel was at least I would say 35 years of age. Mm -hmm. I'm still in my 20s. People in hip hop, you know, this is a very you know this mm -hmm. is a very young generation right i say we're still experiencing life we still making mistakes you know what i'm saying we're still going through life learning. did you say this on, on oprah i said all of this stuff and on they oprah, took it out and they took it out you come here luda you come here and I will, say it. i will do it from now on <laughs> Listen, i will I'm not you. i will not, so not edit only, it look, <laughs> i'm so not, angry with her right now not only I did love i say her, this on her show and they edited it out i said this in her face in that room and she was like, I, you know, I feel you on that, and I understand. But and then when the show host, came on. Yeah, you, when the show came on, I was I was just as upset as you were. Believe that. So I saw it, and then I paged Ludacris, and I, and I was let him know how I felt about it. Because I thought maybe I was bugging. Maybe I was being <laughs> ultra sensitive. But you nah, felt definitely felt the way, too. I'm going to say something about it. You know, I, my next album comes in 2006. It's called don't, Release hey, Therapy. Listen, I feel you, but oh, please don't hey, disrespect oh, Oprah. I no. would never not disrespect Oprah. Okay, good. Listen to what I'm trying to tell you. I'm just going to tell my side of the story. It's not going to be disrespecting it's gonna be the truth and that's what okay. they scared of that's all it is okay. one way or another i may not get into detail let me tell you, you how let me tell oh gosh i have to get to number four and i know you have to go but let me just tell you something how fired up after i talked to you that day on the two-way <laughs> tell them what i did Mo state right she wanted to write a letter to right i came in there. i didn't finish it. i'm halfway through and i still. and i left it but it's still sitting there i might finish it and send it i Please wrote do. oprah a letter i never read anybody a letter i wrote oprah a letter because i felt i felt <laughs> all of that yeah. anti Hip hop. Yes, I just saw it in her, yeah. and it was I was so hurt by I that. I love you for it. I love I'm, you for it. I'm gonna finish the letter. I'm sending it tomorrow. Can I say one more thing? And we're gonna keep <laughs> sending them until she, she contacts us back. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm Go wait. ahead, say one more thing. Say it. Another another point she was trying to make when we were in the room. <laughs> She, she went into this whole spill about how when she first got started on her show, how she would have certain people on her show. And she made the example of when she had the skinheads on her show. And people were calling up and writing letters about why she did this and why that. 
And to she learn, said, right? To learn. To That's learn. what she but said. She, she, you know, she, she told me that she learned that by having people like that on her show, no matter how people, no matter how much people are against that group, they she was empowering them by having them on her mm-hmm. show. So, I, you know, I didn't, I was trying to understand what she was saying, but I'm like, so by having a rapper on your show, does this mean you're empowering rappers? Mm-hmm. And you know, I didn't, I didn't get the answer. I, I didn't really get the answer. Get she the went answer. into a whole spill about that. I'm telling you, we was in this room talking for That's a long time. That's what my thing is. If it's she could real. have skinheads, she could have um, murderers and all these people to have them on to learn about them. Why right. not? Why not have somebody from the hip hop community have everybody come on, do a show, Oprah, where you have Russell That's where we and Luda. At. That's what we get. And at. I'm gonna, gonna put that in my letter. Put it in the letter. Send it. We're going to send it every day. Mike, we need to uh, deliver. I'm putting myself in there because I want to go too, damn it. Hey, I'm man. fired up. I'm so fired up. Hey, I appreciate you having me up here. Disturbing the Peace album in store. Right, now, go got, get that. I love y'all. I got to get to number four and he's got to run. But baby, it was good to see you. Yeah. And I'm going to hit you and let you know when we hear from Oprah. Please do. What the date on the show is. Hopefully she won't edit your, you know, edit something out. Or, you know, or, you know Ooh, send I'm your letter so back tight. to you. Hopefully that won't happen. You and think, see, I'm not disrespecting you. I'm just telling you from my perspective that's going to be the real. Is she going to send me my know. letter back? You never know. I didn't think she was going to edit all my damn I made a contribution to the Angel Network. Hey, man. And I made, I feel I made so a, hurt. And I made a $150,000 contribution to Katrina, which she said on her show, and they also edited that out of the show. Oh, man. Her saying, Ludacris, you're great. Let's you not donated let, this please, amount of if, money to the show. They edited that off. Please, if you're tuning in, this is no in no way to be taken as we are getting at Oprah. Because we are. Oh, you're talking? getting at her. I'm not. At me? Oh, you ain't getting at her. No, I'm not. I am upset, but I'm not getting at her. It's, I'm a, upset it's a respectful too. upset. That's all. That's all it is. Hey, I still love Oprah, but hey, we just gotta. There's some things we need to discuss. <sighs> not unedited things we need to discuss. I'm so that's mad that all. you have to leave right now because. <laughs> Damn I'll you, Ludacris. All right. Go get the album. Ludacris presents Disturbing the Peace in stores today. This <laughs> is number Oprah. four on the countdown. Love Oprah. Try 97.